This is FFPU, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPU. My name is Paul. My name is Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Hey. It is the 10th of November 2016. And this is the 14th episode of this here podcast. And yes, I'm back from the States, man. Yeah, I'm back too. Yes, you're back <laughs> too. It's, it's amazing. It's been a long, yeah, it's been a long time. It's yeah, been I missed busy. You. I, missed you. I missed you, bro. I missed you. Yeah, yeah me too. You're my heart, yeah. man. You're good part, heart. Good party. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I had uh, my birthday party. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yes, let's dive right into it because this is, again, a quickie episode. We are trying to be really fast. Drink a little bit while doing it. Cheers, by yeah. the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Let the, let, let the better one win. <sighs> and as the tradition of this podcast predicates, we have to do another episode of Raumpatrouille Orion, the abenteuerliche Abenteuer des Raumschiffes uh, Orion, which, yeah. which, which you already know and is the most watched episode, I think, uh, the, 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 the second one. Yeah? No, the third one. The second or the third one is the mm -hmm. most watched episode ever. So, awesome. Yeah. Well, the second or third episode of the Space Patrol Orion. Yeah, 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 no, so I it's know. either you or Scott. Yeah. 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 That's the most liked person, most watched, most listened to person next to me. I'm, I'm number one. I'm, I'm never going out of style. But I'm not sure but about being, that. <laughs> by being the boss of my own podcast. So, yes, this episode is a very typical Space Patrol Orion episode. Yeah, yeah. We are going pretty right into it. it pretty and, much it. And the first things, first things first, and this is... Plot. Is there something wrong? No, 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 no. I'm just checking. Yeah, plot. Yeah, the episode is called Deserters. Or Des wait, they uh, they love dessert. Ha 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 ha! Ah, yeah, yeah. All this, all this, dessert, deserter, deserters joke. Ever, I, I think that's that's one of the. Well, I, I think ever, ever since they used the word dessert for um, that meal, they've <laughs> made, that, that, that every, meal? everybody made a pun out of it. Yeah, yeah. That the only meal that's not a meal by having zero nutritional value, except for you know, yeah, a reason uh, to it, live. <laughs> <laughs> I live for the cake, man. Fuck the steak. That cake, man. Yeah, cake that steak. So much for dessert. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> so, the episode starts with uh, the team, as always. Yes. With uh, developing a new weapon. Weapons of mass Test, Yeah, they're testing. They, they, a test, new... they test it, and it's yeah. called Overkill. Yes. Even very German, in very German original. Version, in the German version, it's called it's, Overkill. They, they, they also say Overkill in, yeah. in English. Yeah, yeah it's, so. it's amazing. Um, and it, the, what the weapon does in the first, it... it, it, it it just Light? kills everything. No, it, 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 it kills it, everything. No, it. What I saw was, uh, uh, I don't know, a cubic meter of sand blowing out of the hole of, yeah, a, of, yeah. a, of, a, of a beach volleyball that got insanely dirty. Yeah, but like <laughs> later, later it kind of developed and yeah, into yeah, a yeah. New... And they, they say that the weapon prepped, that it was only a small test, and they yeah, gonna just a small batch. Yes, and they're gonna go full overkill the next time. Yeah, and um, we we um, yeah we we also hear that the the frogs are in a weapons race with uh, humanity because they apparently now have a method to go through the uh, to to deflect the, the the laser weapons. Yeah, so it's or, kind of kind of it's ray kind of weapons. A, they are called ray weapons. It's kind of a, like Stein, a, yeah, it's kind of like a arms race between the, yeah. between the human oh, race totally, and to, the totally, frogs. Totally, totally not a Cold War reference. No, no, well, no, no, no. Aren't they at war? Where, where, who? The frogs and the humans? Yeah, they are. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. Totally not a me metaphor, man. Yeah. Totally so, not the Klingons. So, this yeah. is not the Klingons that uh, you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just... 
To also, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt while doing a podcast about German Star Trek. Yeah, this has yeah. to be some kind of somewhere a nerd has an aneurysm and dies because <laughs> I just, I just, he's like, no, can't handle it. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so, yeah, they are in a, in a, and they know what the homeworld sector of the, of the frogs is, and that's AC 1000. And they plan to fucking extinct the frog race, I guess. Huh? What? They, they plan to extinct yes. the, fl- the frog race. Yeah, exactly. But so they also have not very Holocaust sounding. No, 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 totally not. And they have <laughs> <laughs> fuck dialogue. <laughs> you know, you don't yeah. talk to your enemy; you just kill him, especially because he doesn't breathe air. Yeah, it's, it's just a frog, man. You yeah, just kill them. Yeah, people. that's totally not an episode of um, uh, Black Mirror. The new season is out on Netflix, and it's amazing. And they have one episode. You, you will see it. You mm. will see it. Mm. Well, people are getting yeah. down with the sickness, down, 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 down with the sickness. The the <laughs> so, um, and they oh, also this, discuss this or, like the, the first yeah. ten minutes. This should be a speed episode, so we. So yeah, have to yeah okay, through. let's so pick, let's the, pick it up. There's yeah. a the the uh, they also they, like the first ten minutes are exposition galore. Like they have a new space sickness that that, that people apparently suck them to, and that makes them uh, go bonkers and try to ditch um earth basically and take the spaceships to um the home trying to take the spaceships to the home world of the frogs and there are already two people who tried it and mclean our hero uh is suspicious because those two guys are really good friends of his partner uh, yeah and, and he can't he, and he can't imagine just them being yeah. deserters or yeah. doing something also completely out of norm why would you desert again to, to a race that doesn't even have breathable fucking air in, because they don't need an atmosphere. That's that's a bad level to begin with, you know. If they're sexy chicks, space chicks that kind of, you know, you know, somebody likes a Klingon chick somewhere. I could <laughs> see that somebody deserts because of a Klingon lady. Yeah, they probably have a love interest with a frog lady. Yeah. It, it, you can't uh, you can't put it in there if there's no hole, man. It's it's like a mirage that falls in on, on itself, the, the, the alien. So, no, okay, it's true. Wherever there's a human, there's a, somebody who's trying to have sex with something. And yes, somebody has, will, will try. But back to this story. So also the humans uh, on the other rim uh, stations are getting replaced by robots. Yeah. Which was a thing that already began in the last episode, but really now is in full full swing. That, that mm-hmm. yeah, success. Yes. Then they have uh, obligatory drinking and we're talking da- at the bar scene. and we're dancing again. Yes, yeah. like the, the like the McLean makes that booty bounce. <laughs> I wrote down <laughs> because the security officer is apparently has really the hots for him, and. Um, but he's McLean is too busy talking to uh, Van Dyke, General Van Dyke, the the hottest general in space. Like she's quantifiably the best looking woman in on that TV show, and best looking man. Was that the brunette one? That was the blonde one. Oh, the blonde one. Yeah, the one that uh, disarms this one guy. Disarms that one guy. You mean at the end? Yeah. No, 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 no. That's that's the one that that is commandeered to kill McLean. Like they they follow her him and then they stop because she says that she doesn't want to to reach him in time, even though she could. She's the commandeer of the Hydra. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That now comes yeah. comes back to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already forgot the whole I, episode. I've... <laughs> well, well, I remember watching it. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you remember, and you so you're like looking at the piece of paper. Well, how? What? Why did I? Um, yeah, oh, yeah. I, oh, I've written, I've written down some stuff. Yeah, a lot of it. Good. Yeah. So, um, to continue with the story, because of that new space sickness, the 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 main staff is now actually including a Nazi doctor. No, they they get a they get a they get a medical. 
uh, doctor in there because yes, he, yeah, because he has of the space sickness. Yeah. yeah, and he has to oversee the whole thing. Yeah, with what's going on, and he so. looks like a Nazi doctor. Yeah, <laughs> so but a but a really nice, well dressed, new age Nazi doctor. Like he has the tassel and the like the bedazzled shirt and the the weird amulet around his neck. That's apparently mm. a new thing, right? He 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 looks mm. like a dapper Nazi. <laughs> New yeah. age, new age Nazi. Like the crystal line correctly. You are a Jew. Ooh. I'm going to prison Ooh. for that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Space Nazi. Um, so, uh, and they they basically say that the the crew are not test subjects for that space illness, but that's because the doctor is there. So if it breaks out, they have a doctor there. But basically, yeah. they're more like mice. I guess, like not Test human tests, but yeah, like rats or something. Like the, you yeah. expose them to something mm -hmm. and see what happens. Yeah. yeah. While, while giving somebody something controlled mm -hmm. is something different. So yeah, they yeah. they land they land at that station where the robots are really the, slow. Where, where the robot robots are really slow and the the guys uh, disappeared. Yeah. The one the guys who were there before, and. Um, also, the yeah, yeah and the, ro the robots are, are out of commission, and yeah. well, they're and, not out of commission. They're, well, they're just really slow. Yeah, slower than usual, and they have. Yeah, and by the way, and one of them attacks McLean, but you know how they look like? Yeah, um, like one of those cheap ass uh, grilling. Oh, the Weber, the, the Webster, the, yeah, the we Weber co uh, co uh, grills that are like in a bubble. Yeah. Okay. The bu bubble ones. Okay, let's and, do a pile on. And they. Yeah. And they have like tubes sticking out, and on the yeah. end of those tubes, there yeah. are ice cream, ice, ice cream uh, scoopers, ice cream scoopers, ice, yeah. cre ice, ice cream scoopers. There Jesus we go. Christ, man! Fucking a. <laughs> can't you talk. have dyslexia? <laughs> nah, I just <laughs> yeah. have trouble. <laughs> I think they look like stuff. a oversized boiling kettle for like um, uh, I don't know, making rubber out of horse. Uh, mm. taped to a bunch of Japanese sex toys. What do it, they look like to you? Who? who what? We, we're doing a pylon. No, they look like this. No, they look like this. No, they look like this. Oh, I am sure. No, if you don't have a second one, we can, well, we can go on. Well, they, well, the arms look like... Every time they lift up their arms, it always yeah. looks like they have a boner. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they, they look like really overpriced Russian Roombas. What are Roombers? The the cleaning robots that go around your house. Oh that oh, the, oh those guys. Yeah. Um yeah. Like really overpriced Russian Roombers. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And I they, am commander oh, yeah. of this vessel. Let me clean floor mm, with vodka. Yes. This is my really offensive Russian voice. Sponsored by vodka. Mm. Oh yeah, and they float. <laughs> huh? The ro the robots float. Oh so. yeah, kind of. They have that like little weird pedestal that they're sitting on, but that's only because the special effects team apparently couldn't sp suspend them really in air. Um, yeah, <laughs> well, and they couldn't retouch but it. But it looks like they're they're floating, so they kind of yeah, it's kind of well done. Kind of. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah, um, what's <coughs> the robots are slow? Where, where are we? Uh, oh, and they kill one. They shoot one of the because one of the robots attacks McLean. They they shoot McLean shoots the robot after he breaks free in a very dramatic pose. It's like yeah. Mm! yeah, and then he he shoots it and it sounds the robot dies and it sounds like an it's, inflating it's, sex it's toy like or a, yeah. a whoopee cushion like. And then, and then he shoots him again after the machine is already silent. He's like, <laughs> like he's yeah. teasing him. He's like, oh yes, mm, let me go to sleep. No, let me stay well, awake. Stop teasing me. Yeah, I'm exactly. Already, I'm already asleep. Yeah, exactly. It's so good. And yeah, it, and then what follows is like the slowest repair scene in space. Like actual airwalks on the ISS, ISS are more dramatic than this. Like an ISS spacewalk takes what? Sometimes six, six hours, eight hours sometimes. And this time it's, it's like really, yeah, it, it, it takes 
20 minutes and it's mm-hmm. way way more boring <laughs> yeah and then they, they the actors don't even um they don't uh, even pretend they, they, they don't even like pretend that yeah. it's like a repair they're like they, they're fucking just, just like, bottle, fuck, bottle they're like, of the skulls yeah, they're playing like, fuck with it i'll just gonna put that there and put that there and this thing just screw it and just, then they explain that it, they install overkill yeah yeah exactly <laughs> they install overkill by just moving um just putting some screws in and yeah. moving glasses yeah exactly and they're like supposed to be like yeah. futuristic and, and all in that. the meantime Hasso is on the ship and he's punching in numbers randomly in the yeah, computer the, and we find out which are the, co- which yeah. are the coordinates for yes. overkill yes huh they, they, those are the coordinates for overkill no that's uh, the co- coordinates for the ship to go to AC 1000 mm, which ship the, that he's sitting in Orion Hasso, Hasso was sitting in Orion yeah while, oh, okay. while the whole thing was happening repair thing okay yeah and he punched in the number for for ac 1000 and what then, they find out after well how how, do, yeah. how does the team get on the ship afterwards they they, they get on Hasso, the ship. Hasso is just really sleepy in his chair yeah but how how does the team go on the ship still oh that the ship was on lockdown that, that's why i couldn't fly away he punched oh. in the numbers regardless of the the the, the, the what we find out is that the the message that they send over the computer yeah the al- the, the, the aliens the tele nose yeah tele yeah. Like, yeah like hypnotherapy combined with 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 telepathic abilities basically mm-hmm. over wide distances they they use the computer brain as a relay and the computer brain tries to give you the number that's what happens okay and okay. uh um uh Hasso was was in there but couldn't couldn't fi- um um he he, he, he punched in the yeah, numbers yeah. but he couldn't fly away but, yeah 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 that that's what happened okay yeah uh, and they come right. back they play the blame game for like what 10 minutes where they accuse yeah, each that, other <laughs> that, that really dragged on dragged on <laughs> It was it was it was fun. It uh, was fun. Yeah, it, w- it was funny. It was stupid, but it was. It was fun. just funny by 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 the fact it was just like really dragged on and really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like, "No, it couldn't be me. Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a good guy." Yeah, exactly. And then they find out what 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 I just explained that the computers are basically rewriting their yeah. memories and giving them the order to break the uh, ship out and fly to. AC one thousand yeah, because they see one other teammate typing the numbers and then they yeah. then they just send in another teammate just to watch what happens and the same thing happens yeah and to find out yeah that the whole thing is just rigged by rigged yeah the system's the rigged the system's, system's rigged, rigged. The system's rigged. <laughs> rigged yeah exactly the motherfucking system's rigged yes exactly that's what happened and in this case they tried to turn it around uh fly there anyways and explode the planet because they have the new overkill weapon systems installed yeah so and by destroying it they destroy the they, what they they the also know is that the humans will think that they are deserting to a hmm, desert island uh <laughs> De- desert island oh, okay yeah no it should yeah, be yeah. you shouldn't be deserting you should be deserting yeah if you're deserting, you should be eating a, a dessert. I think. I personally, personally, that would make more sense in the English language. Mm, I, I I deserted yesterday. It was so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that dessert deserting job was so good. You desert that. I, des- <laughs> I desert. Man, I deserted so bad. Good dear. Um, <laughs> for the German German understanders uh, here German understanders yeah, yeah very very good Paul very good very eloquently put yeah. thank you thank you thank yeah. you for that yes so <laughs> so yeah. they try to fake out the aliens but they also have to fake out the humans which try to kill them but the only fleet that is close enough is coincidentally the one from General Van Dyke and she has the hots for McLean so much that she doesn't think that he could. The power of penis is strong. The bonus is stronger. And, <laughs> oh. and I sorry. Uh, and they try to to um, 
Yeah, the other ships just don't attack. Try, yeah, they, the, yeah, they just don't. They you know. just disobey the order to, yeah, to exactly to and destroy of course Orion. the plan works out. They didn't freak out. They destroy the planet with overkill. And the other, then they have a shootout. Then they have a shootout, and then they yeah. just blow away the other ships like that, they're nothing. They just, they just fucking blow them away. They, 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 went, they no went chance. Full overkill, man. That full overkill definitely deserves its name. Yes, exactly. Cool weapon systems, in my opinion, because the the, the stuff just starts to disappear. I like those kind of. If they show those weapons, I don't like if. Sometimes I like it, like in Star Wars, when it's really bright colored and everything. Mm -hmm. But I find it way more menacing, <laughs> especially in space, if it's silent and it just takes away a part of your ship and it just disappears. Yeah, especially because in space everything is silent. Yeah. Uh, well, except in it's the silent. except in a series in, in this series that you hear ex ex sound exploding sounds all the time and engine noise and all that good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Except the weapon. Yes. And that's so, cool. <laughs> so they go home. They have a little bit of uh, debriefing, uh, a little R&R, uh, &R, and that's it. Then yeah. That, that, that's and McLe it. McLean and, says a funny line. and then Yeah, ends. like every time. He every said, time. Yeah, it's a, it's a funny line. And I think that's it for plot. I think we've yeah. done plot. Yeah. This is, this is, this is a good... Uh, oh, fuck. 22 so, minutes. Maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, we, we, we have to steam ahead. Okay. okay. Quickly, sound. Sound. S sound. Yeah, exactly. Sounds are good. Sounds are good? Sounds good. Yeah, sounds, <laughs> good, sounds good. Yeah, th yeah. I found that they didn't use the, the main theme music as much as they used in, in previous. Yeah, like for the action there, there was scenes. less music there. Yeah, yeah. and... I think they they tried to convey more of a sense of the space terror thing because nobody is there. I think the repair scene should have been tense. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, for yeah, us, it but it's just. I think it was supposed to be tense, like building up tension yeah. that something is about to happen. But this war for cinema. Yeah, okay, cinematography. But wait, wait. Cinematography. Yeah. Um. Yeah, much like the same as every other um, episode, I guess. Yeah, nothing and nothing new, nothing. Mm. Yeah, nothing fancy. Uh, boring. Next boring. one. All right, let's go. Space <laughs> stuff. So new category. There is some weird ass space stuff going on. Um. The. Uh. Um. But my my favorite one was the space sickness. Where where this one guy was just falling asleep? Or? No 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 yeah or exactly the, the the, Yeah yeah but but the the weird space stuff that comes up is when he's interrogated and he, he gets really defensive. Oh and yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweaty yeah and really sweaty. It's so funny. Oh my yeah, and god! He, and he gets like, That's like he gets really like really gr space and, he, and he gets really grumpy and yeah, and he's like he's like nah man like yeah yeah a a sexist man would say he's on the rag. Oh yeah, a sexist yeah. man would say that. Yeah. I know better, but a sexist man would. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's so, my weird space yeah. stuff. And what yeah. was yours? Well, what what was the space stuff that made you? Weird out the weirdest. Um, the the scene when when the frogs uh, approach the Orion. <laughs> and the, and the, the music. Uh, uh, like every every time you see the frogs spaceships and by the way the the spaceships of the frogs are just like <laughs> paper air cranes. Like pa paper paper air cranes. Yeah. Paper air cranes. Paper, paper airplanes. Paper air, air. Paper air cranes. I don't. Okay. <laughs> they have origami cranes. And paper airplanes uh, oh, that, put them yeah. together. Paper air cranes. Yeah, I thought about I thought about the paper cranes. So yeah, whatever. So, like every time you see him, this this weird ass cello music. They just like a. Is it cello? I think I think it's a cello. Don't you think that it's a bad? <laughs> does it, does, they, they had one guy from a cool rock band in the sound studio, and he was like. Drrr. He was no? yeah. He was just. Wiggling one, yeah, yeah, one, that's right. uh, one, one string, string, yeah, <laughs> just Oof. wiggling one string, yeah. and it's always higher, and then, and then when it cuts back to the team, it like stops. It's like they really silent. 
and uh, and every time totally. it, it, that appeared like every two two minutes and it was just oh yeah funny to look at him while you while you see him they like move around like um like the animating te- technology they use in south park oh, yeah or the, when you or when you yeah. just or when you use an over a project a shot, a shot by use, shot thing well the first season yeah of, of of south park yeah every it, yeah, other no. season is animated yeah no. so you just imagine over over a projector and you just put like mm-hmm. paper figures on it and you just move make it move it and like make it like stop motion kind of yeah it was it was well done but and at the same time like really amu- funny really and really weird amusing space stuff. really am- amusing oh yeah no and <laughs> the, the the amount of memes that you could get out of that weird space stuff i hope i'm, I'm gonna do some gifts or something and put them on the website Yes, so <coughs> let's come to the to the last bit of our <coughs> yeah. Final conclusion. 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 Yes. So, <coughs> not the best episode in my opinion so far. Definitely has <coughs> a few bits where it's really lagging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. The repair scene is fucking useless. The they they had like again ten minutes of exposition at the beginning, and um, yeah, that but, that but, was just unnecessary. Yeah, and they they had way more humor in those leggy scenes. They had those leggy scenes in in the in the in the in the previous episodes too, but they were funny or, or filled with cool music. This time it was just I don't know. Felt yeah, a bit just, sloppy. They, yeah, and they use <coughs> it's they, still entertaining. They, they, they use the wrong music for that. Yeah, it's still entertaining. It's still, I think, an entertaining episode. But all in all, eh. Okay. Yeah. Watch I, it. I, but, but I do, I do like the whole overkill aspect. Oh yeah. No, no. Overkill is. It's, it's just over the. It's just. <coughs> it's just overkill. It's just. Yeah. It's it. It's it is his. I was about to say over him. over the top, but you know, but you know, but yes. Yeah. Still, I gotta say. Over, yeah. But the biggest overkill, overkill still is the dancing. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah okay um <clears throat> thank you guys for a quick episode of ffp we'll be back hopefully next week um yeah thank you for being here nelly yeah, again of course. thank you for, for for coming back for not f- yeah, feeling that i abandoned you huh what oh, sorry uh no i just feeling I just, feeling I just... like you ab- ab- abandoned you no okay no no no, no 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 i'm good okay me, me too all right all right guys bye bye